I've got my cup of tea, I've got my sunflower, I've got everything else I need, I've got a pair of tweezers, a pen and my counting sheet which you can get off the Turing Sunflower website. So we're looking for spirals in two directions. Can you see there's some lovely spirals going out in that direction there and there. There are clockwise spirals. And then can you see some lovely spirals in this direction? There and there. There are anti-clockwise spirals. So to start, I'm going to get a nice starting point by removing all the seeds of one spiral. So I'm just looking for a nice clockwise spiral to start with. I think I'm going to start with this lovely spiral here. So what I'm going to do is remove the seeds with my tweezers. see there. What I'm going to do now is count 10 spirals along and do the same thing again. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay, so I've done it. This was the first spiral that I plucked out. So this was our starting point spiral. So I start counting here at number one spiral. So I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then to make it easier to count, I've plucked out every ten. So we've got ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89 spirals. So I've got 89 clockwise spirals and I'm going to jot that down on my record sheet. So now we're going to count the anti-clockwise spirals. So I'm going to pick a nice anti-clockwise spiral like this one here, can you see that? So I'm going to just remove these seeds to make that spiral nice and clear and that will be our starting point anti-clockwise spiral. I'm going to do the same again, I'm going to count 10 spirals and do the same again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. Just before I, I was going to pluck one out, and then I'm just going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so this is my starting point spiral. I've marked it with an arrow. So I, I plucked out that first anti-clockwise spiral. So I start counting one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Plucked out every tenth to make it easier to count. So we've got ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five. So I've got fifty-five anti-clockwise spirals. So my total number of spirals. Dealing with 144. So here's the Fibonacci sequence. Let's check what we got. So we counted 89 clockwise spirals and 55 anti-clockwise spirals. Um, you add those two numbers together, you get 144. So our numbers are on the Fibonacci sequence. There's one more thing left to do, and that's to count the brats, which are these green triangular structures all around the head. And to make it easier, I'm going to pull them off as I count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine. So now I'm just gonna add all the data we've taken onto the website. Okay, all done. We can't wait to get the data in from you guys.